Where to find gold top 10, best places for gold prospecting in the USA. 1. California, the American River. Known as the birthplace of the 1849 gold rush, California's American River has yielded significant finds. Placerville and Coloma were hotspots during the gold rush era, and this river still attracts modern-day prospectors. The geology here primarily consists of alluvial deposits of gold with high concentrations in ancient riverbeds and creeks. For prospecting tips, panning along the banks and using sluice boxes in slower-moving sections have proven successful. Metal detectors can help locate larger nuggets, and what to bring, waterproof boots, pans, a sluice, and possibly a high-quality metal detector. 2. Alaska 40 Mile River Alaska offers some of the richest placer gold opportunities in the United States. The 40 Mile River region was historically prospected by miners drawn to the Yukon. The terrain is rich in placer deposits, especially in creek beds and floodplains. For prospecting tips, the area's remote nature means river sluicing, panning, and sometimes dredging. It's essential to follow seasonal regulations. And, what to bring. Heavy-duty waders, a sturdy sluice, pans, bear protection, and camping gear for extended stays. 3. Arizona, Lynx Creek. Arizona is well known for gold nuggets, with Lynx Creek near Prescott being one of the most accessible and productive sites. The geology here features quartz veins, and gold is often found in placer form along creek beds. For prospecting tips, a dry washer is effective in this arid environment. Panning during rainier seasons can be fruitful. And what to bring? A pan, metal detector, dry washer, and a geology hammer for breaking quartz veins. Colorado Arkansas River. Gold was discovered in Colorado in 1858, leading to several gold-rich regions, with the Arkansas River being a favorite among prospectors. High concentrations of placer gold can be found, especially in bends and gravel bars. Panning and sluicing near bends in the river is a great way to prospect. During low water periods, larger deposits can be accessed. Make sure to bring pans, sluices, waterproof gear, and proper permits from the Bureau of Land Management. Georgia Dahlonega The first major U.S. gold rush occurred in Dahlonega in 1828, and the area still has accessible gold veins and a rich history. Gold is found within quartz veins, often extracted through load mining techniques. Panning is popular in streams like the Etowa River. Metal detecting for nugget patches is also effective. You'll want to bring a metal detector, pan, sluice, and a rock hammer for breaking quartz deposits. Nevada Rye Patch Nevada, particularly Rye Patch State Recreation Area, is known for large gold nuggets. This area contains placer gold, often trapped in ancient river gravels and alluvial fans. Metal detecting yields excellent results here. Panning and dry washing are also popular due to the dry climate. Be sure to bring a metal detector, dry washer, pans, and plenty of water due to the dry desert environment. Ah, Idaho, the Salmon River. This place has such a storied history in gold mining and believe it or not, the Salmon River still produces placer gold to this day. You see, the river gravels here are incredibly rich with gold. Placer deposits are common along the bends and gravel bars, making it a prime spot for prospecting. Now for some tips, sluicing and panning along the river can be quite rewarding, especially in those deeper areas where gold may settle. And of course, you'll want to be well prepared. Bring along your pans, sluices, and some good waterproof clothing. Also, maps are essential for navigating the rugged terrain here. Happy prospecting! Montana Alder Gulch Alder Gulch produced one of the largest gold strikes in United States history. Virginia City remains a hub for hobbyist prospectors. The geology here features rich alluvial deposits and some hard rock mining opportunities. For prospecting tips, panning and dredging in the gulch itself can be quite rewarding, with some potential for larger nuggets. What to bring? Well, you'll need a pan, a shovel, a dredge, and a sluice, especially during summer months when water flow allows for optimal sluicing. Oregon Rogue River Southern Oregon is known for both load and placer gold, and the Rogue River has produced notable finds. The geology consists of river gravels that are gold-rich, with deposits often found in the bends of the river and gravel bars. For prospecting tips, sluicing, panning, and dredging in areas with slower moving water and sandbars are effective methods. What to bring? Make sure to have pans, sluices, and dredging equipment, and don't forget the required permits due to environmental regulations. South Dakota Black Hills Gold discovered in the Black Hills led to the establishment of cities like Deadwood. The area remains rich in both load and placer deposits. The geology reveals gold present in quartz and other mineral veins, especially along fault lines. For prospecting tips, Panning in creeks and metal detecting in areas near old mines can yield great results. What to bring? 
A pan, metal detector, rock hammer and permits for prospecting in historic mining areas are essential. Each of these locations offers a unique experience, blending the excitement of treasure hunting with the thrill of being part of America's rich gold history. Essentials include pans, sluices, detectors proper gear, and understanding local regulations. For beginners, I recommend starting with panning to develop technique and patience before investing in more advanced equipment like sluices or metal detectors. Make the background music happy. 